Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and there really is no time for these dailies because the timing is fluid. Things happen when they're meant to happen. We're all on different timelines, right? So uh, this reading may or may not be for you. So if it is, great. If it's not, then so be it. Take what resonates, leave the rest. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message for today? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Princess of Wands. So this would be the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands could be, it's very exciting. It's a new direction. Um, this is an exciting new direction. Somebody may be getting an offer or an invite. Um, there's a lot of passion here. There's a passionate desire for new things. Um, there could also be somebody new that is bursting into your world or has burst into your world. This is something that is very attractive to you. This um, could also it could be a new suitor, right, that you have a lot in common with. Whatever this is, there's some sort of instant attraction to move in a new direction. Mm, Ten of Pentacles, wealth. Okay, that is a happy, comfortable home. Uh, security, abundance. We have a new beginning. Pages are, are messengers that offer new beginnings. That this new beginning can lead to permanent success. Permanent abundance. Happy home. Wealth, wealth, a new be there's there's an offer here that leads to wealth, okay? I thought we had two, but I guess not. Ten of Wands, it happens to be reversed. Ten of Wands, that is, that is, uh, it's time to relax. You can relax, okay? You can relax. We have somebody here that has been trying to do too much. They've had a lot of burdens. They've been overworked, maybe, trying to keep up their success. There's some sort of uh, payout that is coming, or it's a right around the corner. Um, the, the, there's money. There's some sort of wealth that is coming from hard work. Just relax. Whatever that, whatever that Ten of Pentacles is, that is uh, financial success. You want to see what's next? The Emperor. So the Emperor takes control. This is somebody who makes a decision in regard. I put it right next to the Ten of Pentacles, which I never know where I'm going to put the card, but whatever. So this Emperor is making a decision. Okay, this is a decision maker, somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision that is best for his overall abundance, for his wealth. So this person is making an informed decision, and it, and it could be anybody. Um, this is somebody that is taking charge. They're, 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 they're going to be making a decision that is best for everybody involved. It may have to do with a business. may also have to do with a home. There could be a change in, in a living situation. Uh, letting go of something with the Ten of Wands reversed. Letting go of some responsibilities. Maybe delegating responsibilities or letting go of something that has been weighing them down. Somebody is dropping something that has been holding them down from abundance. They're dropping something that was overwhelming them. There's a new there's a new suitor here with the Page of Wands. It's a new suitor or it's a new direction. This is exciting. It's a new opportunity. Um, Taking control, making a decision about long-term security, long-term success. So we have a person that is making a decision, okay? It may have to do with money. It probably does have to do with money. It may have to do with a home. It may have to do with a business. It may have to do with inheritance. Um, 
It does have to do with financial stability. So whatever this decision is, it is about financial stability. And it does require letting go. Because that Ten of Wands reverse is letting go. We have two tens here. Tens are completions. Okay, so that's the end of something. Something is coming to an end. Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. There's a message that is coming. There is a message that is coming. Somebody is going to be sending somebody a message. It may be unexpected. It may not be what you think you're going to hear. It may not be. It's not what you think you're going to hear. All right? We have the Three of Swords reversed and the Lovers reversed. They're both reversed. So that is a, a separation. That is a, that is a separation. So there's a message that is coming. It has to do with a separation. It is what it is. Okay. This is heartbreaking. Okay. There's a heartbreaking separation here. Um, there's uh, Somebody may have uh, broken somebody's heart. They may be asking for forgiveness. The Three of Swords reversed is forgiveness, perhaps, need, wanting forgive. Somebody may need to forgive. They may, I don't know, somebody's asking for forgiveness. It may have something to do with a father figure, too. This doesn't always have to. And, and the Ten of Pentacles, this can be about family as well. So I'm not sure if there's been some sort of strife in the family between parents and children or whatever. But this could also be about love because... Because the lovers is about love, right? It can be about a partnership here. I feel like there's been some sort of painful separation here. There's been a detachment or a disconnection, and it's been heartbreaking, or it is, heart or it still could be heartbreaking. But there's an opportunity for healing with the Three of Swords reverse. There's an opportunity to heal something. Um, get prepared for a message. There's a message that is coming that is probably going to uh, lift some sort of weight. It may bring you relief, whatever this message is. Somebody's going to be seeing some relief, whether it's this emperor or it's you or whoever it is. But this, there's a separation here with the lovers reverse. It is heartbreaking, but it brings relief, whatever that means. Um, three of Swords reversed. Moving forward now. Somebody's going to be moving forward now. They're on the path to recovery. They've been separated, or they're they yeah. There's some sort of separation here. They've been separated, or they're separating. There's some sort of separation here. Dropping something. Moving in a new direction. A decision is being made in regards to financial security. Nine of Cups reversed. It says material success on the bottom. Somebody has not had material success. Okay, they haven't gotten their wish fulfillment. They've been in a situation, it's a material happiness, not success, but it's all material. So somebody has been holding on, so underneath the Ten of Wands, they've been holding on to something for materialistic reasons. Now they're going to be letting it go. This is not what they asked for. There's no unity here. There's, there's, uh, there could be a loss of possessions here. Uh, there's there's a letting go of that material happiness for somebody's going to be letting go of material happiness because they're because they're not happy. They're really 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 not happy. You know, there's no growth there. There's some sort of uh, relationship problems here. This is like uh, loneliness due to disillusionment, no happiness, false impressions, a lack of clarity, no growth, darkness. Somebody's been in a dark situation where 
You know, there's been no real wish fulfillment. They may have been very materialistic, you know. They were only in it for materialistic reasons, very focused on their money, you know. There's, where's the love? Because I don't see any love in these cards. There's no love with the lovers reversed. That's that's the biggest heartbreak of them all, right? When there's no love, I mean, that's 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 true heartbreak. Anyhow, um, material happiness. Somebody has been in a situation where they have been oppressed, you know, they have been overwhelmed trying to build up their financial stability with a partner that doesn't really bring them happiness. Somebody is dropping a partner as well with the, with the lovers reverse next to that ten of wands reverse. They're dropping a union where you know, there's been a lot of suffering, there's been a lot of loneliness, there's been material success, but maybe it's falling apart, maybe it's going away. Um, a decision is being made in regards to the financial future. <laughs> Nine of Swords reversed giving deep, 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 deep thought to a relationship somebody is. They are extremely stressed out, overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. It's like there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for a perfect match. But we have somebody here that is held back by some sort of worry, fear, paranoia. Maybe, maybe there's paranoia that they're not good enough. I don't know. Maybe this person, all they know is to be stern and cold and hard. And, you know, they have to, uh, I don't know. I feel like we have somebody here that needs to take a new approach with that page of wands. They need to take a new approach. They have a new exciting opportunity. Oh, that one wants to come out. Strength, two of them. Strength and five of pentacles reversed. We have somebody here that is struggling financially. Big time. Five of pentacles reversed. Extreme, I don't know if there's some financial ruin here. Tens are completions, you know, so I wonder if we have somebody here that has built up a business or they've built up their financial success and they're losing it all. And that is that is what I saw uh, in my last three dailies that I've done was somebody losing it all. They're losing it all. They're losing their, their whole savings or they're losing its financial debt, financial ruin. Oh my God, why is this happening? There's no love in these cards. We talked about this in every reading, every reading. Whoo, flogging a dead horse. And this, I believe, is right here, yeah. This is flogging a dead horse. This is no change will come. Because somebody is not learning from their previous mistakes. They're not learning their lesson. What they're resisting change. It's 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 they're clinging to their past ways. They haven't learned. Somebody here has not learned. They have not learned from their from their previous mistakes. They're repeating negative patterns. We have somebody here that is suffering. They're suffering greatly. They are. They are suffer they're extremely overwhelmed with the need for material things or whatever that they're lacking in the love department and I feel like they're suffering financially because they need to make a decision they need to make an, an, an decision in regards to uh, what their fu what they want their future to be like you know this is focusing on the past or staying stuck in the present not focusing on the future this is somebody who will not change i think we have a very stubborn individual here 
Anyhow, uh, five of pentacles reverse. That is extreme financial hardship, needing help. We have somebody here that needs help. They need financial help. They do. But they're trying to restrain themselves from getting help. But there's probably somebody here that can help them. With the Page of Wands right next to the Ten of Pentacles. There's a new exciting opportunity that is right here. It is. But it will need you'll need to let go of some sort of possessions or something that isn't serving you. Uh, Ten of Wands reverse next to the Nine of Cups reverse. You need to swallow, and somebody may need to swallow their pride. They may need to swallow their pride and accept help. Strength. There's a need to be gentle. Somebody needs to be gentle. They need some. They need some tender, loving care. We do have somebody here that is struggling. They are very, very much struggling and they need some tender, loving care. But it's like they do need the tender, loving care, but they won't accept the tender, loving care. Very, very stern energy. We have somebody here that is very stern, that is sitting in a position where, you know, they're really struggling. I can see the struggle. The struggle is real. It is very real. Very burdened. 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 Uh, in debt. We have somebody here that is in debt. They've overextended themselves. And now they... They need help. The lovers reverse. That is... That is uh, no partnership, no unity. They may be in some sort of incompatible partnership where there's no compatibility. They're just in it for all the wrong reasons. God, I hate to repeat this stuff. There is financial stability right around the corner. If you can make a decision to take control Follow your gut. Allow somebody to help you. Step out of that victim mentality. We got somebody here that is in victim mentality. Taking charge. Somebody needs, they're going to be taking charge. They're very stressed out, extremely stressed out. They may be asking for help. Somebody may be asking for help. They may be going after some tender, loving care. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you think it is? And it's going right on top of the emperor. The empress. This is tender, loving care. The empress. The empress is tender, loving care. It's unconditional love. This is a partnership. This is a this is a power couple. The Empress and the Emperor are a power couple. They are. It's the King and Queen. Somebody is extremely worried. They are extremely stressed out. They're giving deep thought to a relationship. They may be in a false contract now. The Lover's Reverse is a false contract. That's over here. They've been suffering needlessly. Uh, there's a perfect match here. There is a perfect match. This is a power couple that have the skills to build wealth. The wealth is right. It goes the, goes the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and then the Empress. So there is an opportunity to build financial stability, maybe even a business. This could be a business, okay? This is long-term financial stability where there's no stress. 
very little stress but there will be a need to uh, cooperate and compromise and work together and uh, let go of the need to control. I mean, the Empress gives birth, right? She gives birth. This is the birth of a new life. This, there is, we do have the birth of a new life here. It's also harvest time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to come out of this lack. It's time to allow and let go of vulnerability. We have somebody here that doesn't want to, the Emperor doesn't want to let go of the vulnerability, doesn't want to show vulnerability. Empress gives birth to a new life. She does. She deals with it. She she grows anything. She she's a creator. She creates life through love. She's an abundance of love and wealth. She bring, she's ruled by Venus, which is abundance and wealth. It's love and wealth. We have somebody here that has been struggling. They have been struggling. They've been trying to restrain themselves from accepting help, but they're really having a hard time letting it go. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, but there's a need to take action with that page of wands. That is take action. Empress. It's beautiful. I mean, the Empress is beautiful. She's, I mean, so we have a masculine and a feminine that have been struggling. They've been struggling. Maybe they've been in, in a power struggle. Maybe these two have been, 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 been struggling for, for uh, you know, the top position. I don't know. Both of these people are in their heads because the Nine of Swords is right next to them. Both of these people are in their heads. They're really, really struggling with accepting something. Maybe both of these people can't accept help. I don't know. It's a perfect match. Either way, it's a power couple. Ah, I just happened to look. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, is wish fulfillment. This is happiness, okay? That is the ultimate happiness. So we have we have a power couple here that have an opportunity at this time to build up financial security and happily ever after. These two people are meant to work together. They're meant to. But there's a need to be gentle. There's a need to... Uh, relax and go slow and uh, let go of fear. We got somebody here that needs to let go of their fear. That last card over here is a strength card. They need to let go of their fear. Let go of their fear of abandonment. Let go of their fear that, you know, if they take this opportunity that they will be abandoned later. Let go of that fear. This leads to long-term, happily ever after, forever. Perfected success and wealth. That says perfected success. So there's a... There's a We have somebody here that is going to be making the decision that is best for everybody involved. This person is thinking about their material happiness. That's what they've been thinking about. They've been really trying hard to build up their wealth, but they have not been successful. They have not been successful because they've been in a false partnership. I've said these words before, recently. <laughs> but there's an opportunity for happiness if these two people work together. 
somebody's going to be receiving an offer or an invite. This is exciting. They should uh, let go of their fear, have faith, work together. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I mean, it is. This is like a, a mother and a father creating a, a home or a husband and a wife, whatever. This is a power couple that are very capable of success. They have the skills to be rich. But it does require letting go of a false partnership where there is a lot of sorrow. Success does not come easy. It does not. This is an exciting new opportunity to go in a new direction and create, create a new business, create a new home, create happiness. We do have a couple that is going to be creating something that is going to, I feel like it's going to, it's going to make them rich. This is like, it's an emperor and an empress. Good luck.